Deadly assassin. assassin, assassin. Their identities are a secret. Even from each other. So how's work? We had a little trouble with the commission. So how's the land? What are you looking for a job or something? You are the job. Had a few problems ourselves. Did you do something new? I added peas. Ah, peas. I love my wife, but there are times. There's this huge space between us, and it just keeps filling up with everything that we don't say to each other. What do you think she's going to shoot like that? Looks like it's government or something. You've just been identified by a competing agent. How are you going to handle it? I'm going to borrow this. Yeah, yeah. Sweetheart. Love. Gets lethal. You have an unusual problem, Jane. You obviously want me dead. And I'm less and less concerned for your well being. So, what do we do? Mm. From the director of The Born Identity. Come on, sweetheart. Come to daddy. Who's your daddy now? Brad Pitt. Angelina Jolie. Still alive, baby? I'm taking over a TV network. I'll finish up, honey, and get to sleep. They're hackers. Hackers penetrate and ravage private and publicly owned computer systems. Hack the planet. Hack the planet! It's not just something they do. Sure this sweet machine's not going to waste. Are you challenging me? It's who they are. I win, you wear a dress on our date. And if I win, so do you. They can crack any code. Get inside any system. Hello? Mr. Gill, according to our records, you're dead. I'm what? But this time... Come here, look at this. It's some kind of virus. Unless $5 million is transferred to the following account, I will capsize five oil tankers. They just hacked the wrong guy. Game's over. Whoever wrote this needs somebody to take the fall. He's about to commit the perfect computer crime. You've created a virus that's going to cause a worldwide disaster? And they're about to take the blame. A hacker planted the virus. <laughs> but it's the perfect cover. Go, We're being framed. Can we be allies? I don't play well with others. Oh, wow, we are fried. Okay, let's nail it. No. You're not good enough to beat me. Yeah, maybe I'm not. But we are. They're the only ones who can prevent a catastrophe. I know how to stop this guy. They'll trace you like that. Are you nuts? Come at me! Unlike any the world has ever seen. Never send a boy to do a woman's job. Hackers of the world unite. Cops are in the building. I need more time. This is the end, my friend. United Artists welcomes you to the new world. <laughs> All the keys to this house, the keys to his heart, you will have to find for yourself. Take me home now. You have no shame at all. Do you believe that pleasure can ever be sinful? This is your home now. Who was the man? What man? I was lost, that's all. 
But I want to give her everything. Be careful, my friend. This is you and me together. Do you love me? Do you love me? Woman's body found. Stabbed in the neck with a small knife. That is not Julia. Where is she? She is gone. She just took what I had given her. Your money. And your love. I want to kill her. You haven't forgotten me, have you? Say it! Say it! You love me! You better make me believe it. Your life depends on it. You cannot walk away from love. This is the mind-numbing black hole I call a job. And this is me, Wesley Gibson. Nobody. Like everybody else, I just keep waiting for a lotto ticket out of my boring existence and into a life that means something. I knew your father. My father died the week I was born. Your father died yesterday on the rooftop of the Metropolitan Building. He was one of the greatest assassins who ever lived. Then the other one is behind you. I thought he'd be taller. Shoot the wings off the flies. You're insane. Insanity is coasting through life in a miserable existence when you have a cage lying unlocked inside. I really think you have me mixed up with somebody else. Shoot the wings off the flies. Either you shoot or I do. Only a few people in the world can do that. You can't even see them! Your father could do it. And you can do it. We are a fraternity of assassins. The weapons of fate. The fraternity has trained assassins for thousands of years. You'll be given everything you need. Curve the bullet. To kill your target. I think he's ready. We don't know how far the ripples of our decisions go. Kill one, save a thousand. Now, that's what we believe in, and that's why we do it. This is what's been missing from your life, Wesley. Purpose. All you have to do now is embrace it. I'm the man. Shoot this motherfucker! Are we gonna bond now? Would you like to? Within this unstable world, every life hangs by a thread. We are that thread. Take control of your own destiny. Join us. Stay back until I work the crime scene, okay? Detective Lincoln Rhyme was New York City's leading forensic cop until an accident disabled his body and destroyed his spirit. 9286. Now, a killer with no mercy. You heard about that couple who got in a taxi, never made it home? Stop the car! Found him dead, buried, hands sticking out of the ground with his wife's diamond wedding band shoved on one of his fingers. And a patrol officer. We got Officer Donahue here to thank for photographing the crucial evidence. We'll give him a reason to live. I want you to work the case with us. Forensics is not my area. Are you being modest or are you a little uneasy about doing some real police work? He needs her to go where he can't. Just tell me what to do next. We don't want to disturb any footprints he might have left. I can't do this. Yes, you can. I'm with you every step of the way. She needs him to interpret the clues. We're gonna find a map of some kind. Put what you got up on my screen. This crime scene was staged. There's no question the perp knows forensics. Before the next victim is chosen. Hey, I got a 
got a bad feeling about this. But doesn't that kind of look like a face? Third piece of the puzzle. She's going to be near or in the Woolworth building. Someone's in there. She's crying. The perp could still be in there, for God's sake. I gave you so many clues, and you failed. There's a killer out there. He's laughing at us. I want this son of a bitch so bad. Some people win, some people lose. The game is over. Amelia? Oh, God. The boat. You gotta walk in. A defector. He's Russian. Neural scan is up. Yep. What's your name? My name is Vasily Orlov. Nothing. He doesn't exist. Today, a Russian agent will travel to New York City to kill the president. This agent is K-12. The K-A program is a myth. Scan says he's truthful. This guy's selling smoke. Wrap it up, Ev. Don't you want to know the name? You're good. You can tell the rest of your story to one of my colleagues. The name of the agent is Evelyn Salt. My name is Evelyn Salt. Then you are a Russian spy. Where'd she go? What are you doing there? What are you doing? This doesn't look good. I'm not a Russian spy. On the ground! I'm innocent! Somebody is setting me up! Shut up! Maybe it's all the who she says she is. Maybe it's your department. Mine is catching her so we can find out. Drop it! took you to buy your ticket. 3.2 minutes. Time it took you to get your popcorn. 2.5 minutes. Time it took them. Oh, let's go, let's go, go. To steal your car. car. Hello, ladies. 60 seconds. Move, 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 go. Come on, baby, work your magic. I think you'll do. Stop! I'm gonna have to go old school. A day to shop, a day to prep. Surprise attack. Nice. A little trick I learned in the car thief retirement home. By the time the first car is reported stolen, all this. Your ship set sail. We do this, we do it my way. I was a sucker for a redhead. You break it, you buy it, my friend. <laughs> Okay, let's run. Gone in 60 seconds. Behind the Kiss. Behind the Magic. Sweet Aurora, I wish for you the gift of beauty. Behind the Legend of Sleeping Beauty. I too shall bestow a gift on the child. Lies the story of Maleficent. <laughs> Curious little beastie. Bring her to me. I know you're there. Don't be afraid. I am not afraid. Then come out. Then you'll be afraid. 
this summer. Aurora, there is an evil in this world. And I cannot keep you from it. Disney's greatest villain. Comes to life. How wonderful. Maleficent. She was young. She was beautiful. Everyone wanted her. You have the whole world. And you figured this. Seize the moment. She went from nowhere to everywhere in a New York minute. Honey, you can do whatever you want. No. She was living a dream. What do I want? It became her worst nightmare. Based on the real-life story of supermodel Gia Kulanji. You're on the cover of Vogue! Oh, I can't believe it! A non-stop, jet-fueled jag into the stratosphere of fame, money, and passion. Sex was really easy. Love was the hard thing to find. And a daredevil plunge into a world beyond reach. Golden Globe winner Angelina Jolie of George Wallace and Hackers. Mercedes Rule, Academy Award winner for The Fisher King. And Academy Award winner Faye Dunaway of Network and The Chamber. Take a deep breath, darling. You are in for the ride of your life. You make me happy every time you smile. We're going to create a beautiful world together. The day after 9-11, Danny and I flew to Pakistan. He was the South Asia bureau chief for the Wall Street Journal, and I was working for French Public Radio. Sorry, I'm so late. I'll call you. Leave your phone on. Okay. By the end of January, we were ready to go home. But there was one more interview that Danny wanted. When will you be home? I'm hoping 9 o'clock. Listen, I love you. Danny, how are you? Is everything okay? Why are you? Is there a problem? No, no, there's no problem. I can't get through to Danny. How far are we going? Is it is it far? Danny had an interview and he, he's not back. He didn't come home last night. Hello? Daniel Pearl, the journalist who's been kidnapped in Pakistan. The most important thing for us is to find your husband. There are so many people in the city. How would you find one man? We'll fight kidnappers with kidnappings. Is Daniel Pearl still alive? I thought Jelani was the guy. He was just the bait. Why did your husband have to meet with these people? He's a journalist. I don't think this is the business of a journalist. Forgive me for correcting you, but it is absolutely the business of a journalist. We're doing everything we can to try to locate him and rescue him. He has a gun to his head, and he's smiling. He's telling me he's okay. If you could say one thing to your husband now, what would you tell him? I love you. This film is for our son, so he knows that his father was an ordinary man, an ordinary hero. son Walter Collins disappeared and a five-month investigation led to a boy being brought to Los Angeles from DeKalb Illinois the LAPD told me and all of you that this boy was my son he was not my son it's 
this Mrs. Christine Collins? Yes. I'm the pastor over at St. Paul's Presbyterian. I've made it my mission in life to bring to light all the things the LAPD wish none of us ever knew about. This police department does not tolerate dissent, and you are in a position to embarrass them, and they do not like it. I just want my son home. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Collins? You have stopped looking for my son. Why should we that be looking for someone we've already found? The mayor wants this to go away. You yeah. can't do this. No. You are to convey the prisoner to the Los Angeles County General Hospital psychopathic ward. <laughs> By signing this, you certify the police for right in sending you here for observation, and it absolves them of all responsibility. I won't sign that. Order leave. <laughs> what the hell have you done with Christine Collins? I know my son is out there. I can still feel him. Your son, unfortunately, would not be the first. But if you do it right, he may very well be the last. Your handling of the Christine Collins case has exposed this department to public ridicule. If the boy you brought back is not Walter Collins, then where the hell is he? I want my son back! I want my son back! In 1969, the wild ones went to Woodstock. The unlucky ones went to war. There's something happening here. But if you didn't know where you were going... You have the distinction of being the only senior not going on to college. I don't have a plan. I just don't want to end up like my mother. Susanna! They sent you to Claymore. The best place in the world for someone like you is less than a half an hour from here. Welcome to Claymore, Susanna. Yes, sir. I guess I'm puzzled as to why it is I have to be in a mental institution. Call me a cab. Okay, you're a cab. <laughs> you chased a bottle of aspirin with a bottle of vodka. I had a headache. <laughs> Go ahead, take one step and I'll jam this in my aorta. Lisa, your aorta is in your chest. Good to know. What are they that have me sleep? Oh, I don't, I don't need them. Are we going to have a problem? Look at me. Is there something about sex which lifts your feelings of despair? Have you ever had sex? <laughs> <laughs> Highs and lows increasingly severe. Lisa thinks she's hot because she's a sociopath. I'm a sociopath. No, you're gay. Uncertainty about goals and a generally pessimistic attitude are often observed. Oh, that's me. That's everybody. You don't need to be here. Get out! Get Everything's out. changing. What do they know about being normal? Get me out of this place! Get yourself out. Let's go. Can I have a vanilla sundae with half fudge? Whipped cream, cherries, and uh, nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 